Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Uh, today I want to do some serious building, and what I want to do is something I talked about in the last video. I want to improve this whole turtle thing. So he is planting trees, collecting wood. Uh, you'll notice he actually gathered up a bunch of saplings from the ground here. He's going to be dig digging up more wood and stuff, uh, and he's just putting items in this chest here. This chest's almost full though. What I want to do though is I want to automatically turn it into charcoal and use that to fuel uh, industrial craft stuff and also have the turtle automatically get like refuel itself with charcoal and bone meal. So there's a lot that needs to happen for that to go on. Um, first I want to talk about something that <laughs> uh, probably a lot of other people know about but that I just recently figured out. And, okay, so first of all, I added in some gold pipes because everyone was complaining I didn't use gold pipes. Gold pipes uh, kind of act like booster rail. They speed up items that are coming through. So um, I added that. And uh, so that goes into here. These are the recyclers, if you'll recall. Um, the thing that I learned about that I didn't know about before, and basically I just figured out through experimentation, was if you have a pipe and it's connected to something that has an inventory, so like this recycler. And the pipe also has other exits, uh, and the, the inventory here is full. So like if this gets up to 64 cobblestone, let's say I don't have any color cobblestone, let me grab, grab some more. What I had thought was going to happen previously was that uh, the items would just pop out uh, from the top of this. And that does happen under certain circumstances, but basically if you have a pipe that's pointing straight at it and no other exits for the pipe, so if I took away this pipe here and this pipe here, then this stone pipe would be pointing straight at the top of the recycler, and if it was full, uh, items that tried to go in would just pop out and be sitting on the ground, and they would basically be, I would have to pick them up manually if I wanted to do anything with them. But since it has other places to go, it's got those two other exits, it's going to, if the recycler here is full, it's just going to move on to the next one. So, I didn't realize that, and that changes a lot. <laughs> um, probably a lot of people are just face bombing because they think that's something simple, but just something I didn't know about, and I had seen items pop out because I had a pipe leading directly in, rather than sort of like this T-intersection like I have now. So all of these kind of have a T-intersection, and uh, kind of hard to see, but they all have a T-intersection, so if any of these recyclers are full, it's just going to continue on down the pipe and kind of cycle around. Now this iron pipe makes sure that the items will go back this direction, so basically if even if all of the recyclers are full, any items that come through here are just going to get cycled back through the system, and they'll never, they'll never leave the pipes until they can get into a recycler. So this is a critical fact and that's that's going to play a big part in uh, kind of chest management as I build my things. So I've also used that over here with the uh, the mass generator or mass fabricator here. So you can see I've got a bunch of scrap just coming into this chest and going out. It's basically a loop through the chest. Uh, it's being pumped by this electric uh, this redstone engine, and the scrap, um, if this mass fabricator is full of scrap, it, they're just going to fly right past it, but sometimes they'll fly up into it and restock it. So that's nice, I, that's something I can uh, just have it. So I'm going to be using a lot of these loops, I think, uh, where I want to, you know, fill something up until its inventory is full. So... There's a couple things I need to do. The first thing I need to do is I need to be able to get bone meal all the way over to uh, to the to the tree area, because the turtle needs bone meal, and if I want to have it automatically restock, which I do, uh, I'm going to need bone meal over there. So the first thing I need to do, oh, the water thing just happened. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is put in uh, some diamond piping to filter out the the bone meal or specifically the bones. So let me grab a bone so that I can use it. So the yellow, whoops, the yellow side is what needs the bone. So I'll just put that right there and we're good. So now uh, everything is going to go 
straight, except for bones, which will go off to the left. Now, I don't want all the bones uh, to come over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have another pipe over here. Uh, so now I, have, now I have two options for the bones. Uh, when the bones come over here, they'll randomly go either this way or this way. So half of them will go into the chest here, and half of them will go over towards the trees. Now, I don't have a pre-planned pre path for this, uh, so I'm just going to have to kind of wing it. <laughs> this is going to in increase the ugliness of my uh, of my whole system here. But okay, well for now I can just move it along the side. Although there are going to be some chests there. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to um, drop it underneath, which is going to be fun. <laughs> Because, okay, I think I want to take off my jetpack for this. Jetpack's good for a lot of things, but it's not good for trying to place blocks while swimming around. Oh my god, I might have to do this off camera. Am I still... What's going on here? Am I still wearing it? Okay, I was wearing it. That was weird. I, I shift-clicked it off, but... Okay. So, how low do I need it? I'm just going to bring it kind of low, and then... Uh, oh my god, I'm going to drown. <laughs> ah, I can't get air from it either. That's awful. Okay, I'll have to be careful about that. So, just run it along the side here. I'm just going to run it all the way over to... Okay, I think I can get air from below, though. Yeah, okay. So I shouldn't have to drown. <laughs> That's good. Uh, so I'm just going to run the pipe all the way over here. This is going to take some time. I might s speed up through this. Alright, just connecting up the final bits here. Oh, don't want to drown, don't want to drown. Okay. Get my jetpack on and uh, we can see. Alright. Oh, man. Getting through that water. So, uh, basically, it comes up through here. I'm actually going to have to move all the stuff out of this chest and over somewhere else. Alright, so. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have the chest right here. So this is going to be... Maybe I'll actually make an iron chest for this. Just so that I save a little bit of space. Actually, I'll make, it, I'll make a couple iron chests. Uh, normally I don't like doing that, but I I think I may be a little bit strapped for space. Uh, oh, no, that's right. I was going to use double... I was going to use a double chest because it, it's going to require that much space anyway. So, eh. I'll probably use those iron chests for something, though. Okay. So... I'm going to have... Um, double chest here. No, no, no. It was uh, over one. I kind of planned this out. Alright, so I'm going to have a double chest here, and then... See, I need a wood pipe, and... Oh, I know I have it in here. Maybe I don't. Alright, I can just make more wood pipes. Uh, I'm, I'm running out of in inventory space, though. <laughs> but, uh, right, I have to use jungle wood, because the IC mod doesn't rep... Uh, doesn't recognize fir wood. Okay, so so basically, I'm gonna run um, yeah. Okay, this is what I want. So I'm gonna run that and that. So this is just gonna be a loop, actually, uh, and I'm gonna run a uh, redstone engine uh, out of there. And this is so this is where all the pipes are gonna be. Remember. Uh, sorry, for, this is the, where the pipe is going to be for the bone bone meal. So basically the way it's going to work is it is going to be a... So this will turn on the redstone engine. Okay, so we should be getting bones in eventually. Yeah, so we're getting some bones in here. And those are going to... Um, shoot, I just realized that this needs to be a little bit different. We need to actually craft those bones in a bone meal. So, hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna let the bones actually come into the chest here first. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to move. We're gonna have to have a crafting bench here. All right. Yeah. So you can tell I uh, I didn't plan this out perfectly beforehand. But let me do. And I can see it. It's not. There we go. Kind of hard to do all this. Okay, so the crafting bench, there's going to be an automatic crafting bench right here. Is that the same kind of piping? It doesn't look the same. They're connected, I guess. That's weird. Why does it look a different color? I don't know. Maybe it's just the, the lighting engine. Okay, so then I need to actually make myself a automated crafting bench. So first I need a crafting bench, 
Then I need four gears, which is going to be a lot of sticks. Uh, and then those go around the crafting bench. And okay, so we're starting to get those bones. Um, those actually go into a chest. Okay, so I'm going to have the chest underneath the crafting bench. Ah, yeah. Maybe I should have planned this out a little bit better. I think I think we'll end up doing okay here, though. And uh, inventory space because of those stupid uh, furs. So I, I think this should work if I just put uh, if I put the, the bench right here and grab some of these bones. Oh, I just have two bones. And then I actually need to get rid of the, uh, the extra pipes here. Hmm. Yeah. So I just need to disconnect these pipes. Because I don't want the bones going here, actually. Oh my god, this is hard to do with a jetpack. Uh, I think we're going to lose a lot of pipes here, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright. And I don't have any extra dirt. I'm just going to patch this up with whatever I have. Okay, so then... The auto crafting table goes right here, and it's just going to have a single bone in it. I used to use up all my bones, didn't I? Oh man. <sighs> this inventory management thing has turned out to be way harder than I thought it would. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I can grab three bones here, so that's good. Alright. And so basically, I just need to put one bone in the middle of here, and that's going to turn it into bone meal. And that is what is going to go into the double chest here. So I need a redstone engine and some wooden pipes. Wood and normal stone and yeah, redstone engine. So I can just put this down below and power it. Let's see, need more wood. <laughs> oh boy. Get rid of these saplings. Those saplings are going to be so annoying while I'm doing this. Okay. And then I'll just make a few levers here, because I'm going to need some more, I think. Yeah, so then if I just have a lever right here. So we're going to start getting bone meal out of the crafting bench. Yep. So we should get three things of bone meal at a time. Uh, what? There's a bone? Shoot, I see. Uh, okay, well, we'll be able to grab this bone now. Probably. Yeah, okay. We don't want that bone circulating through there. If I can get it in here, I actually can't get it in there. can't put it in manually. Oh, well. Okay, so now we have bone meal circulating through here, and that's going to keep automatically coming. So that'll be ready for the turtle when he wants to grab it. Basically, all the turtle's going to have to do is... Uh, he's going he's gonna to be right here by default uh, after he you know, finishes felling the tree and filling up the chest. So all he has to do is come over here and sit here until he gets enough bone meal to, uh, to continue. So that will be that. So the next thing we need to do is, um, we need to get the, oh my god, this chest is full, so, oh my, what a disaster. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, so we want him to basically put stuff into this chest. Actually, no, we can have him... Yeah, okay, you know, we want, we want him to put it into the chest, and the chest is going to go into this induction furnace. And um, that is what's going to cook us uh, a bunch of coal. So, grab cobblestone. I need another wood pipe, and um, I'm actually going to use an electrical engine for this, uh, because the redstone engines don't actually pull items out fast enough for, for our purposes. So that will put the items in the top, that's perfect. Um, uh, let's see, it's getting dark and I need an electrical engine. I think I'm just going to grab an electrical engine o over from the, uh, the spot where I have all of my electrical engines. Okay. That is over here. I'm just gonna grab. I'm not using these actually yet, so might as well just grab it. And um, so basically, whoa. 
Um, this electrical engine is going to be powering the wood pump here. And that is going to be coming, that is going to be getting energy from a generator. And the generator is also going to be powering the furnace. So <laughs> it's, I'm going to need to actually bootstrap it. But uh, let's see, I have a generator right here. And we want, so we want the stuff coming from the side to go into the top of this generator. Now, what do we want that to look like? Uh, something like, I think we'll need to put it like over here. So then we need another wood pipe. That's going to come, that's going to take the output of the induction furnace and bring it into the input of the generator. Um, the thing I'm worried about here is we need another electrical engine to get all the items out of that fast enough too. So let me just grab another one. I'm not using all, like, I only plan on using six of these anyway, so they're mostly just there in case I decided I needed a lot of buildcraft energy. But for now I don't. Um, so electrical engine here as well. Um, I'm starting to bump up against all my uh, all my buildcraft piping and stuff. All right, and then I'm going to need some wiring, so I'll go grab that later. And the thing is, though, uh, when this generator is full, I want the overflow to go elsewhere. So that is going to be over here. Uh, now I want another uh, one of these loops here. Uh, the turtle is going to need to restock both in bone meal and in coal. So he's going to be here by default. I want it. I want him to have to come over uh, over here, I think, in order to grab uh, grab some uh, some of that stuff. So I think this should be good if I just put a double chest here. I'll have to make a double chest. Oops. But I can do that real quick. Oops. And yeah, he's already filled up that uh, chest again. Soon enough, he won't be do able to do that. So, so the extra coal, uh, if if there's if the generator's already full, is going to come straight in here. Uh, I can just use a, a redstone engine. Oh, whoops. That's an electrical engine. That's a redstone engine. I meant to use an electrical engine there. So I'll put that right there. And yeah, but I can use a redstone engine for this loop because he's not going to need uh, the coal so fast. And I'm still out of dirt. <laughs> uh, just put wood down and a lever. So the charcoal is going to come out of there. So I can just seed that with some charcoal. Uh, now I need wires to get these electrical engines going, and I will also need to put some coal in. Um, let's see, wires. And let me grab another thing of charcoal from over here. Remember, this is where I was storing all that charcoal before. Okay, we're getting there. This thing is almost actually fully, well, aside from some programming on the turtle, uh, this is almost fully automated. So, oh, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, I guess none, none of the items from here can go in there anyway, so it's not a big deal, but items could theoretically get put into the empty socket, I guess. Um, so I need a bunch of wiring now from this generator. And th so the generator is going to have to power this electrical engine and this other electrical engine. And now if I just power the generator, I think things should work. Yeah, they need they also need power in order to turn on. So I think I think this will work if I just uh if I provide power to these guys. Uh, let me power it from over next to it. Um yep, so that is pulling it right in. All the wood is going straight into here, and it's pulling it in big chunks, like half a stack almost, or more than half a stack. And, oh right, those... Ah! 
Oh, goodness me. Yes, that is true. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need the overflow to go back, back into the chest here, I think. Um... I think the I think that this induction furnace should be powerful enough that it actually will uh, once it gets running fast, it'll actually uh, be fast enough to uh, to use up the wood as fast as it's generated, so we won't be wasting extra wood. Okay, so let's see. Oh, the furnace isn't powered. Um, okay, there we go. Alright, I kind of figured it out, sort of. Uh, I'm still not exactly sure why it wasn't starting, but it basically needed to be kind of primed. Um, and, yeah, I, I basically I had to turn off the electrical engines, actually give the induction furnace a little bit of chance to get a little bit of energy before I put any items in it, in the top, and then it started working. So, so now I've got the, the loops working. You know, I've got a wood loop here, so... Uh, that fills up the induction furnace and brings the wood back into here. Now the induction furnace uh, gets its items pumped. It's getting uh, the elect electrical engine is pulling out a lot of items at a time. Uh, actually, it's kind of only pulling one out at a time because it only pulls one out of the stack. Interesting. Well, it, I guess once that fills up, that won't be a problem anyway. So, and then it pulls the items through. Uh, generator gets it's charcoal and it keeps getting filled up as uh, as it empties um, and oh why did it just stop burning uh, oh interesting is it not getting items from the right spot yes I guess the items are supposed to come in from below huh so let me let me see if I can move the items around a little bit uh, and get that fixed. Ah, darn it. Man. It's so easy to break the pipes because they just break immediately. Um, okay. So, uh, but I think... Uh, no, but the end, if the furnace... Why did the electrical engine stop working? Uh, this is being really difficult. This thing is still going. Oh, it's because of the wiring is, is missing now. So let me let me get that wiring going again. Um, and because that's important for that to be going. Uh, but even still, it's not pumping. This this stuff is can be really frustrating. It's definitely getting energy. I'm just gonna try replacing it. These things just don't work out sometimes. Okay. Still not going. Uh, I've heard having two um, two electrical engines on the same circuit doesn't work very well, so it's possible that's what's going on here. This one's just sucking up all the energy. Oh, man. I'm getting kind of frustrated by this, though. Um, I might need battery boxes in order to make this work. Now we got it all working again. So both both of these electrical engines are now working at the same time, and the heater is still heating. Okay, or the the furnace is still going. Okay. Um, I think. Oh no, these these bat boxes are filling up with energy. Well, at least this one is. I think I need to put down just another um, another furnace in here, and hook it up to the circuit. Now, luckily, it's really easy for me to do that, and I have, a, or sorry, another generator. I, I have, uh, shoot, and I need that pipe to be coming in from below. <sighs> okay, I need, need to move this down. Come on. Ah! Okay, I need to move the wiring down a little bit. See, this is what I get for being such a mess with all my, uh, on my building. I don't plan anything out and that's it just takes takes a long time because of it. Okay, so I need uh, that to go underneath. Which means this ha oh shoot. I'm just breaking everything, aren't I? Okay, so I need this cobblestone stuff to go down by one. 
I'm not sure why this hooks up to this, but I don't think it'll get used. Okay, so then that goes there, and underneath. Okay, so then that's good, and I'm going to want another space here for the other generator. Okay. Uh, the other... Oh, there's already some... Oh, right, I already put the other generator there. So, the coal should come in now. Yeah, so it should come in from underneath. Uh, this one should be... Oh, what happened? Why isn't there any coal now? Ah! <laughs> Why aren't you working? It's not getting any energy. Okay, the battery, uh, the wire's not hooked up. I must have broken the wire by accident. Okay. So now this still isn't getting any energy. Even though it's hooked up to the generator. Is this one just stealing all the energy? Is that what's going on? Why? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm going to take this thing away real quick. So now we have the wires coming out the back. Uh, I'm going to put some coal in here. Um, let's see if I can get this thing powered. I don't I don't understand why the uh, the power from this isn't coming down and around. Um, here's something else I could try. I can try just directly. I just need to do something until I can get... Yeah, okay, so that'll work. So I don't even need uh, this stuff going down and around anymore. It's going to break it from above. I, I, I don't understand why that wasn't working. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments why, but... Okay. So now we have two generators that are each going to get... Um, some of that coal. Uh, the thing is, I need this stuff to all go away. And I need... Ah, shoot, whoops. I can, I can afford to lose a couple of these wires. <laughs> uh, okay, so then... I need that to happen. <laughs> okay, so now these things should stay stocked with coal. I just have to make sure everything's working. Yeah, that one's still working. So this is going to be use, using up its wood and filling up this, which seems to be happening. Um, the electric furnace over here, now that it's heated up, is pumping stuff out fast enough. In fact, a redstone, a redstone engine probably would have worked for this, but it doesn't matter. I think we're not losing any coal. I think all of it should be coming through. And these things are staying well stocked. Now the coal is coming through here. Uh, I did break a lever, so I'm going to need to put the lever back down uh, next to this guy. So that we have this on continuous loop. The bone meal is still going on continuous loop here. Uh, I kind of wonder how much... How much... Okay, so we have 20 bone meal. Um, which is more than we had before, I believe. So I think this is still working from over from the uh, the mob trap. Uh, of course, it's nighttime, so I gotta sleep. I I haven't actually seen any mobs come by around at nighttime, but I'm still a little bit paranoid about that. Okay, and then yeah. So I mean, the only things that we need now. So this is actually powering stuff. Uh, we can actually use this to power other stuff, and I'll, I will probably actually add more generators here. So I've purposely removed a bunch of the charcoal here and a bunch of the bone meal, just to test if um, if this guy's program is going to work correctly. So uh, I have I've created a new program. I copied wood over, uh, and I called it Auto Wood, and I added some stuff to grab those the bone meal and grab the charcoal automatically. So let me just make sure... Yeah, I think everything should work, so... Auto wood. So he... Oh, whoops. Edit auto wood. Uh, on line 96 there's an error, so I can just debug this with you guys. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work. And I won't have to break it up again. Line 96. So you can see in the bottom right it says what line number. Uh, I just have an extra parin. And, uh, yeah. So auto wood... So he is doing what he should right now. He's replanting. Uh, and then he comes back over here. He's putting extra items in there. He should see that he's out of stuff. So he's grabbing more coal here. 
Uh, he's going to wait until he is full of coal, which actually could take quite a while. Okay, so now he thinks there's wood there. He comes over here to go grab bone meal. So he's going to wait until he's kind of full of bone meal. I'm going to give him some... Um, actually, don't. I'm not sure I have enough to convince him. He needs ten. Uh, ten more beyond this, so... Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to fill in the rest of this with all the, uh, all the wood that... <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to trick the turtle into thinking, basically, that it has different states. So, he is actually getting his, his bone meal fairly quickly. Um, now the... F ah, shoot, but I didn't get to test that his charcoal would run out. I'll just have to test that later off screen. It looks like everything is working, though. Okay, once he gets his 60th bone meal here, uh, he should just turn around and start mining again. Yep, so there's a 60th, then he turns around and starts mining. <laughs> okay, yeah, some of them are going to drop out, which is not ideal, but I'm not sure there's anything I can do about it. And he should only be losing them every... Uh, it should actually be pretty infrequently that he actually goes for bone meal. He only uses one bone meal per cycle here. So, alright, so we got the coal cycle going, we got the generators perpetually generating... Uh, these bat whoops didn't mean to do that. These battery boxes are filling up. Eventually they'll fill up. Well, I think once this one fills up, this one will actually start filling up because the energy won't be split between the two. And then this thing is staying at 100% heat, so it's generating wood really fast. And everything is magical. <laughs> My God, that took way more effort than I thought it would. All right. Well, I think I'll leave it there. Um, I'll put the auto wood. Uh, program up for download in case you'd like to take a look at the source code for that. You'll have to set everything up exactly as I have if you want uh, if you want it to work for you though. So that might be kind of hard. That's about it. Thanks for watching.